In this video, I want to talk to you about carrier calculated shipping, which really just means shipping rates that are dictated by carriers like UPS, USPS, FedEx, and others. I'm on the configuration menu and I've clicked on shipping and pickup. If you set up shipping options during the setup of your store, you most likely have at least one thing already set up here. And depending on where you are in the world, this page might look a little different. Well, I'm gonna click on add shipping and because I'm in the United States, Equid provides me with three carrier-based options, USPS, UPS, and FedEx. If I click on set up USPS, I can select automatically calculated rates from USPS. Now, it's important to note here, by selecting this, you are going to be using the carrier rates that USPS offers. And the same is true for FedEx and UPS as well. So I'm gonna click set up USPS and now I have a carrier-based shipping method. However, we're not quite done. Click on Actions and click Edit. Each one of these carrier-based shipping options comes with, well, a ton of options, and they're all enabled by default. The easiest thing I find is to disable all, and then just one by one, enable the ones that I actually need. So I have seven methods selected for a particular option. The next option is to show approximate delivery date at checkout. I'm going to click Enabled, and we have several options here. Order preparation time. How long does it typically take me to get an order ready for shipment? I'll leave it at two days. And the days when I pack orders, Monday to Friday, and I pack orders received past this time on the next day. Again, that's 4 p.m. That seems pretty reasonable to me. I'm going to click Save. And you'll note the options are compressed and my choices are presented to me. The next thing you need to know is when you click and add any of these settings, it's automatically selected for the entire world. If you're interested in advanced settings by zone or creating zones on a map, we have videos for both of those options. You can also add a shipping markup to any of the carrier rates that you might end up using as well if your store sends out the same basic package size every time, well then you can put a default package size here and that will just speed things up. You can set the minimum order subtotal. This means that customers won't see this shipping option on checkout until their order total reaches the amount that you specified. Of course, you can update the internal name for this so that if you are customizing these options, say the shipping region, the markup, and the minimum order subtotal, you can make that really obvious for yourself in the back end. Finally, if you have an account with, say, USPS, and you get discounted rates, then you can click here and use your own account to provide those negotiated shipping rates to your customers. All right, I'm gonna turn that back to the way it was and click Save. And go back. And now I have a USPS calculated shipping method on my site. If I wanted to add, say, UPS as well, it's as simple as add shipping, selecting UPS, automatically calculated rates from UPS, and then go ahead in and edit in a similar fashion. UPS doesn't offer quite as many options as USPS, but you still should go in here and enable just the ones you want to use. Again, if you're not using this globally, you can change this from all destinations by clicking on advanced settings, choosing a zone, making up your own zones, or even creating a zone on a map. So it's that simple to add carrier calculated shipping rates to your store. The last thing you might wanna do is to sort the rates in the order that you want your customers to see them. Click on actions and sort, and it doesn't matter which one you choose here because all of the options you have selected will show up. So I've quickly dragged those into a new order. It's a simple drag and drop. You don't even have to save. When I click back, USPS and UPS are reordered. And now let's take a look at how our shoppers will see the new calculated shipping rates in our store. My $34 shirt has a shipping of $4.60 when I selected USPS First Class Package Service Retail. You'll also note that the estimated arrival is between January 2nd and January 4th. 
I'm recording this video on the 30th of December, so it's taking into account this approximate delivery date based on my preparation time. You'll note that with UPS, it's not taking that into account, and of course, I didn't turn that option on. For UPS, I'd need to make sure I updated that. All of the shipping options that have been selected are available to my customer to choose the one they want. So this is definitely something you want to plan, but Equid makes it so simple to ship your product using carrier calculated automated rates from your store.